So in this video, we're going to give a flash demonstration of a motion interface. The basic premise of our IP and of our solutions and of our software is that a change of motion does something. That's a change of direction, a change of speed, or a change of acceleration, or any combination of these all provides something, whether it's actuation, scrolling, selection, or attribute control, or all four of these at once, it can be done with simple motions. Motion has a direction and speed component. Because of this, we can predict what objects we want to move to. If I'm moving slowly, and I don't know exactly which object I want to interact with, then the probability of one object is low. But if I move quickly towards an object, or I move straight towards that object, or better yet, I move straight towards that object and quickly, the probability is high that that's the object that I want to interact with. And because I'm predicting which object I'm moving to, I can make it respond to me before I get to it. It's actually a relationship that occurs. It likes me. I walk to it and it runs to me. And we can predict what that response is and we can code that as well. So it intuitively begins to know what I want even before I finish my full thought. So in this demonstration, we're showing that as I move towards an object, it actually runs to me, it accelerates. I move to the next object. I can begin then to begin a radial scroll. Going through my list, I choose the one that I would like, and then I have options. My next option is I could call, email, text. I could do a Facebook or a Twitter or I could actually edit the account. So just by moving in the direction, I actually launched a text application and I could text. In this example, I move towards the camera. The camera comes to me, I have three options, library, video, or photo. If I move towards the library, it actually launches. So you can see how this is continuous motion, it's just a change of motion, and just by change of direction and speed, we can actually cause things to happen. And it's very quick. If I want to move towards the camera and then move towards the library, it launches. If I move towards the camera and then towards the video, it launches the video application. If I move towards the contacts again, I can scroll through it, or I can actually move towards a contact and then go towards my voicemail and it launches the voicemail application. So just by changing direction, I use a very small amount of real estate. I have a large interface I can interact with and I can do this quickly and efficiently without ever lifting a finger. It also uses our precognition because we're predicting where we're going to and we're allowing it to respond to us. Here we've shown you a true motion-based interface where a change of motion makes something happen. The next video will be an application on a phone and you'll be able to see how the acceleration, the change of speed, and the change of motion all work together in a simple interface that's extremely fast.